Damn, bitch, the boys are back. Come town classic, baby. Come town classic. What everybody wants. The good shit. Um, Just a couple fucking hard dick warriors in my bedroom. Yeah. I'm still laid the fuck up. Uh, yeah, first of all, we need to discuss something. Um, mm-hmm. The fan base is not allowed to call me a monkey. <laughs> <laughs> I was just Twitch streaming and everyone was calling uh, Nick Diddy Kong. There's nothing and Diddy. he did not like it. I don't like it. I don't. Even, <laughs> I didn't even go on camera. I don't know how you know I'm wearing a hat. <laughs> yeah, you got your little fucking jetpack on, dude. No, I do not. <laughs> you got here by jumping from alligator head to alligator head. Yeah. Until you landed here. Yeah, it's just I didn't start a podcast so that people would criticize any any aspect of my life. For <laughs> That's me. right. You started for respect. I did it to get respect <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> from other posters. That's right. Any anybody that has anything negative to say about me, one, you're wrong. That's number one. Two, bitch. you're making the show worse by hurting me. Is that what you guys want? Is that what you want? You Nick's make eyes are bloodshot, dude. I've been crying he all night long. He asked me for a second. He, we've been trying to start this at podcast five different times, but mm-hmm. Nick's been like, I need a second, and then he cries in my bathroom, and then he gets it out of the system. And, and then, then I cry start. in the other bathroom. <laughs> then he goes to Eldis' The two room. genders. While Eldis is shitting, he, he sits <laughs> in his lap. <laughs> <laughs> I climb my way up the shower curtain, <laughs> and then I yes. just launch turds at Eldis. <laughs> Interesting way to dispute being a monkey. Damn, dude. (laughs) (laughs) The world's greatest podcast. (laughs) That's good ass fucking content, bitch. Yeah. Where are you guys getting that from, huh? Pod Save America? You know what? Fuck it. Pod Suck My Nuts. Maybe I am a monkey. This is the new. I'm going to. Lean in, I'm leaning in, dude. I don't give a shit. Yeah, you know what? Make the noises. I am... No, I'm not making the noise. <laughs> Make the noises so that can be clipped out of context. <laughs> yeah. No, I was saying earlier, man, I'm jealous. Because I, I used to be just a dis- completely just a compl- disgusting oh, piece of shit. Dude. And it's like, you know, I've been thinking a lot about the ponytail. And it's like, mm-hmm. why did mm-hmm. I do that? And it's like, oh, because I had unshakable confidence. That's right. Because I didn't care. Right. Because you, you know? thought you were going to get a black belt automatically. No, it's because it's like, <laughs> yeah, it's cause yeah. it's no, like again, mean, you have you already have a million strikes against you. It's mm-hmm. like, what the fuck is one more? Yeah, that's I don't why give I a shit. That's why I was like, fuck it. Take the tooth out. Mm-hmm. No one's fucking me because of how I look anyway. Yeah. So why put an annoying ass little piece of plastic in my mouth? That's smart. You lose sight of things like that in life. That's right, bro. And it really, it just destroys so much of you. Mm-hmm. You know what I also, you know what else you lose sight of? Here's a good reason to have plants in your room. Let's say you want to get up in the middle of the night and piss, but your be- toilet's have broken. Have you been pissing in your plants? <laughs> I may have pissed in one of my plants. Is it the one that's dead? It, they're all dead. <laughs> <laughs> Those aren't plants, dude. They're jars of piss. <laughs> you have dirty jars of piss. <laughs> Yeah, that's a little tip for you guys. If you ever wanted something to piss inside of, get house plants. Yeah. It's perfect. That is smart. It's a fucking jar of piss you can have and people think you're fucking classy for it. Yeah. The other thing, too, people aren't allowed to say I'm bad at stand-up. Uh-oh. No more of that. <laughs> that's canceled. You hear that? White men? say I'm worse than, than Tom Myers? Oof. Do not say that about me. Incorrect. I've got a lot of classic bits. Mm -hmm. You know, what, you think just because you have access to the Stars streaming app, you know jack shit about my repertoire? (laughs) (laughs) Is there shit on Stars? Yeah, that New York's Funniest thing got posted on Stars. Really? Yeah. I didn't know that. Stars? Stars, yeah. That's so weird. Yeah, I thought it was owed like residuals or something. It should be. But people watch that and then the experts of comedy weigh in. Well, if the if if you're not re- allowed residuals, we should at least get one of the fake dicks from Spartacus. What do you mean the fake dicks from Spartacus? Spartacus was on Stars. Oh, was it? Yeah, have you ever seen it? No, it's but awesome. they have fake dicks. Dude, they have so many fake big dicks on Spartacus, and like fake big ass titties and shit. Uh-huh. Like a dick gets chopped off and part of it. Are you sure there's not just people with normal sized dicks and you're seeing it? <laughs> You're like, look at all this. <laughs> look at these giant four inch and four and a half inch dicks. <laughs> Dude, they're so unrealistic with their three inch flaccid dicks on Spartacus. <laughs> Dude, how did they have the fucking budget to make those yeah. big ass dicks? Everybody knows the neck ain't visible. <laughs> when you're going into battle, nobody's got a visible neck. <laughs> 
My uh, shit's pointed straight forward mm-hmm. like a weapon. Always, dude. Yeah. My cock is always weaponized. Mm-hmm. Ready to fucking... I don't come so much as I unleash my spores. Yeah. That's my cum is very light. It goes in the like wind. Like a fungus. <laughs> that's right. Like a fungus that's right. <laughs> Exactly correct. Like some big piece of shit <laughs> fungus tree that's just yep. spewing poison. That's all what over my the dick place. is a little mushroom that fucking coughs up cum spores. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mine's mine's like a poisonous mushroom. Mm. You know? Because it's all dark and twisted and gnarled up looking. Gnarled. Yeah. Yes. A little gnarls, but I got a little sea low. My little dick C-Lo. looks like sea low. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, I would my dick. I would think my dick looks like CeeLo, but you're right. It is your dick. Uh, yeah, just my, pur- just purple and beating mm-hmm, women. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> but just fucking slathered in cocoa. Fuck butter you. Always. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. I committed rape. <laughs> he did. He raped. Didn't yeah, he? I think he did. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when the girl uh, tells you no, you right. just ignore them. <laughs> keep having sex. <laughs> <laughs> well, I tried to stop, but I didn't want to because <laughs> fuck you, fuck well, you. Well, CeeLo, can we stop you right there, <laughs> CeeLo? <laughs> when a bitch wants to stop having sex, it's like, fuck you. CeeLo, so someone cut his mic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's me. <laughs> that's what your dick is? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> a little fat fucking mm-hmm. black fucked up ball of rape. You're right, though, because I've been thinking a lot. I think it's like I just need to have just really wallow in low self-esteem so I can get back to get just, back to the bottom. Just being funny. Bottom out. You know, mm-hmm. that's, I, that's I've, somehow I stopped. Right. Well, I guess I never really wrote jokes about like self-deprecating stuff. Yeah, it's always really. about it's always about society, mm, you know, power structures. That's right. Like GameStop. Yeah. Like Taking it. down the power structures <laughs> of GameStop. <laughs> and old people that couldn't fucking figure out their email. Yeah. That you were duping for a living. Yeah. <laughs> Those were good jokes, right. though. Thanks, man. See? Yeah. Reddit, faggots. That's a professional comedian's take on That's the thing, though. You really could have. You should already have it legitimately did. It, le- it legitimately did bother me, though. That's, of what? all the shit people say, that's the only thing that's ever really like hurt my feelings. That you're bad at stand up. Yeah, that I'm because you know why but they're fucking dumb. They don't know. Well, shit. no, you know why? It's because it's like I do feel that way. You feel like you're not working as hard as well, you could. Because well, it's not that I'm working. Yeah, I'm not definitely not yeah, working as hard I as I could. That. But like with those Boston shows, it's like so these people that come to see me, so I get to like forty minutes or whatever, and then I can continue to go. Yeah, but it's going to be material from like when I was a road feature, mm-hmm. which is like so I don't get fired from the club. Right, right. So right. nobody yeah, wants. Yeah, I know what you mean. For I me feel to, that way for too. For me to do like you know the material. I mean, your shit's all like self deprecating anyway. Yeah, you know, but I have like ten. Fuck. I have like ten fifteen minutes that I'm like, I really want to. I've outgrown it, but I have to keep it in because I'm doing an hour. You yeah. know what I mean? I'm doing it, and I'm like, ugh. Right. But you just got to put that shit for in the me middle, to do. Dude. For me to do a bunch of shit about like you know. Food at yeah. the grocery store, you know, mm-hmm. like after talking about how why me too is bad. Yeah, you have to structure it a certain way. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you can't you can't follow fucking Probably. rape is good. Whatever, I'll show I'll show you faggots. I'm gonna become <laughs> a really good comic. You fucking faggots. <laughs> All right, step one, Nick. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna prove everybody wrong. Yeah, dude, take that. Take that fucking imagined slight and let it fuel you, my friend. Yeah. That's all it takes. Yeah, dude. That's why you can't be on that shit, dude. The Reddit can suck my nuts. No, you need it. You need it to balance out no, your ego. I don't. I don't have that much of an ego. Yeah, that's true. You know? I'm yeah. Pre- I'm, I stay You're nice. You're definitely not a complete narcissist. I'm humming. Oh, I am, but I have, a, I, have a, I have plenty of reasons to, like... The self-hatred is never too far away. So yeah. it's a nice it's a nice balance. Yeah. I'm either right now I'm so low that it's like there's nothing anyone else can tell me that make me feel worse about myself. Yeah. I'm fucking toothless. I've been eating like shit. My foot I hurt my foot bathing today. Yeah. I'm I got a setback cuz I didn't want to smell bad. Yeah. Although that's kind of an admirable thing cuz I was smelling ripe the other day. Yeah. I mean yesterday you fucking caught a whiff. Yeah, you I smelled not, pretty bad. I was not smelling good. Mhm. But yeah, I feel I feel at my ultimate low. I'm probably going to take more edible. I've been taking edibles just to zonk me out so I don't have to fucking be awake for half the day. Yeah. Probably going to do that as soon as this podcast is over. That sounds like a good plan. Yeah, it's pretty nice, dude. You just get high as shit. You eat a bunch of fucking bad food and then you watch like Heat or some shit. Yeah. That's a nice evening. I used to have such... I used to do... When I was like 20, I would just get high or drunk all day long and just watch shitty movies. Yeah. 
and I didn't care about anything. It's a good life. It was perfect. My mind was done. That's the worst. My mind yeah. was finished when I was yeah. 20. Yeah. I don't know why the fuck <laughs> anything had to change. I was ex- 100% secure in who I was mm-hmm. and what I did. Yep. I was just a mean guy that, yep. you know, was fucked up all the time. Yep. And, and that's not happiness, but it's at least stable. Well, that's the worst part, dude. That The scariest part of this whole foot ordeal is that... In my heart of hearts, I love this. Yeah. <laughs> I love just eating like shit all day, hanging out with my boys, not having sex. Yeah. This is what I know, dude. Dude, Felix is on that tip right now. Yeah. Just Twitch streaming. Yes. Gym. No contact with anybody. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just none. <laughs> yeah. It, it rules, dude. It is. God, I wish I could go back to that it. That is in my heart. But we have to transcend that, dude. Yeah. We're about to be 30 years old. Fuck. It's the end of our 20s. We have to come. We have to get families. We have to move to the suburbs. <laughs> <laughs> we have to get married. Damn. Does anyone know where I can get a family? <laughs> Knock up the next bitch you fuck. Yeah. Raw dogger. Uh-huh. Hold, she's like, please don't come. You just hold her down. You right. come inside of her. It's sort of like a reverse I am Sam. Mm-hmm. Instead of a retarded person knocking up a homeless woman, it's a genius. And Wait, course, did I am Sam fuck a homeless lady? Yeah, that's the plot. And they what? Have to, they have to take. <laughs> they have to take the the kid away from me because I'm too smart. Yes. You yes. Know? Mm-hmm. I work in, I'm working at Starbucks, and That's right. people are like, can I get a chai latte? I'm like, uh, have you ever heard of uh, E equals MC squared? <laughs> <laughs> They're like, yes, They're like, obviously <laughs> I have. It's that fucking Einstein <laughs> shit. Now, can you give me my fucking latte, you <laughs> dumb motherfucker? <laughs> <laughs> like, this man is too smart for Starbucks. <laughs> he knows E equals MC squared. Yeah, dude. <laughs> That's me, <laughs> the man too smart for I, for Starbucks. <laughs> How Damn. about Guy M. Sam? And he's mm, a guy. He's gay. He's gay. <laughs> yeah. It's gay just a man. movie <laughs> about the state taking away custody from a gay man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, fuck, that's a good one. Yeah, that would be great. I would love Guy M. Sam. <laughs> so really, a homeless lady fucked him? Yeah, he fucks a homeless lady, and then nice. uh, and then he has a kid for like eight years before somebody's like, what, ho- what, what? the fuck? Yeah. yeah. Before they see the kid giving him the Heimlich maneuver because he ate too many Jolly Ranchers. Yeah. And they're like, the what the fuck's going like, on here? That's your daddy? <laughs> yeah. mm, we got to take you away from your daddy. <laughs> Damn, what happens at the end? Um, he loses the kid, of course. Damn. Yeah. And what, he goes to, like, a little home for the mentally challenged? Yeah, they kill him. They put him down. <laughs> they put him down. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Since you don't have a kid, yeah, you go in. You go into the retarded raffle. Uh-huh. And your odds are you either work at Walmart as a greeter. Uh-huh. You get to fucking clean out the balls at Chuck E. Cheese at the end of the day, wipe them one by one and color code them. Yeah. Or we kill you. Uh-huh. And that's it, dude. That's yeah. How we, that's how we treat them in this fictional universe. Damn, I'm kind of depressed that I'm now a monkey who's bad at stand up. <laughs> Here you go, dude. Do you want a banana? No, Nick? I don't want a banana. Do you want a banana flavor now and later? I don't. What about a banana? In fact, flavor I don't. Laffy Taffy? In fact, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> what about a banana milkshake? In fact, I do not. Would you like some chunky monkey Ben and Jerry's? Um, I don't know about Would that. Would you like to throw your own shit? At I don't want to throw monkey? my own shit. I got. I got to find a way to be happy. Because it's, yeah, it's starting to piss me off Yo, you're getting mad at depression I like I that know, I guess Fight it, dude Yeah See if you see if you can punch your way out of being sad Yeah, yeah, maybe mm. The Lewis move The Lewis move Yeah Or the abusive father move That's another reason you need fam- family To abuse them the, Yep That's how my dad felt good Yeah Throwing shit The thing is about having a family Is it would probably be like Oh good Now it's this child This child can have a bad life Yeah 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 I mean I can just be proud of it (laughs) Yeah I get to stop thinking I get to stop Having goals and ambitions And fucking Maybe that's what I need to do Yeah Yeah I'll just Hit it all on a kid Yeah right Make the kid Make the kid have a better Maybe the life. kid kills himself or whatever, but who cares? <laughs> <laughs> you can have a nice twenty year run. Yeah, yeah. You know? Damn, that would suck. If your kid killed itself. Yeah. Damn. After that, you gotta deal with that shit. Yeah. You're back to square one you even gotta harder. Close his room, board. You just it up. hit me up. You're like, hey dude, what's up? Remember the time he <laughs> spilled the car? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Twenty years from yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. My son killed himself. <laughs> he trying to chill. Let's get the pod going. <laughs> 
<laughs> Adam's like, I can't about thank God. He starts crying, tears of joy. It's fucked up that Adam's gonna have the best life of the three of us. Yeah. The one who contributes the least. But it makes sense. That's yeah. why he's also not as funny. Yeah, that's true. You know? He's like has gonna have sort of a bad life because and he's sort of funny. You know what mm. I mean? It's like it's perfect. Yeah. <laughs> We're fucked for sure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Me and you are pretty fucked. <laughs> Yeah, and everyone we drag into our lives is also fucked. Oh, oh yeah, <laughs> yeah I've, I will <laughs> hurt so many people. <laughs> I know, dude. Everyone who that's makes the a worst mistake part, <laughs> right? <laughs> Every time a girl likes me, I'm like, mm-hmm. "Damn, dude, I'm oh, sorry. Yeah. My yeah. bad for what's about to happen." <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> but they thank you for letting better. me suck them titties, though. They don't know any better. No, You're just dragging them into the forest. Yep, to be raped and murdered. <laughs> oh, I don't know about that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, should I have done it as a metaphor? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Poetry. Did you like poetry as a little kid? Never. Did you ever read no, like, Shel Silverstein or anything like that? No, I mean, I'm familiar. That shit was nice. I like that shit. I was really into Lord Byron when I was in <laughs> kindergarten. <laughs> Shouts out to Lord Byron. My man came through and uh, gave a little... I think fiduciary aid to the, the Greeks in the revolution. Yeah, that's so true. Shouts out to Lord Byron. Uh-huh. My man, I think I think he was. Oh, gay. Uh, Lord Gyron, and it's all. I think he was already gay. Tis to thee, mine dick, <laughs> mine, mine beautiful phallus. Yeah, sucketh mine glands. Tithe and tine my cock and balls. <laughs> <laughs> thus wintry nether hole, <laughs> and I shall fuck thusly into <laughs> your ass. <laughs> Uh, <clears throat> and I shall take into your ass for shelter and sustenance. I will uh-huh. eat your asshole. I will suckle on your sphincter mm-hmm. like the morning dew, like a bee at the morning dew. I'll suckle at your nuts. Yeah, Do I wish I was a bee. Why? You know, you just get all stink. that fucking sweet queen pussy. Yeah, you get to fuck that, the fuck the queen. Sloppy queen pussy. Yeah. Did we already? Didn't we already talk about that on an episode? We, I'm queen sure we talked about these. Basically, just a sl- it's a slut, just dude. a slam piece. Queen of England, just everyone fucks her pussy. Yeah, everyone just gets a piece of the be- the queen's pussy. That's right. I think she just has a giant pussy uh-huh. <laughs> that everyone gets a corner of. Yeah. <laughs> I, I dated want- a girl who had a pussy so loose mm-hmm. that it would like go like, wow. <laughs> you know. <laughs> It would like it you were getting sucked into another dimension. Well, would, you would, if you open it, if you open the front, it would go <laughs> it like there was a, a cavernous sound. Her pussy looked like the fucking uh, yeah. The um, what the fuck is that? The little shop of horrors plant. Yeah. <laughs> and then that, <laughs> your hair, yeah. <laughs> Your fat this flies off your head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and the <it's> released. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> My hat. I'll get it. I'll fish it out. She just puts her fucking hand elbow deep into her pussy yeah. and gets your hat out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh. I did a couple like extremely Big loose. Pussy w- just extremely loose. Interesting. I remember there was this girl jacking me off one time and she stuck her entire hand in her pussy. What? To like scoop out, to scoop out no. pussy juice like ice cream. <laughs> what the? He's like jacking me off with it, and I was like, "Did you just put your whole <laughs> hand in there?" And she was like, "Yeah." What? Are like, you kidding? No, That's I'm how serious. Fucking bigger pussy was. Yeah, I mean, she didn't have big hands, but sure. like for fuck's sake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's like you know, your fingers are the same size as your nose. Right. Right. Your hand shouldn't be the same size as your, <laughs> your, pus- your yeah. entire pussy. <laughs> oh, sorry. I have to scratch my ass. My ass is itching. You just put my whole hand in my ass to scratch it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, that was intense. Her whole hand in her pussy? Her whole fucking hand. Jesus. I mean, I could see maybe one or two fingers. Well, of course, one or yeah. two fingers, but yeah. But her- just a, even the scoop motion is a little I- advanced. Yeah. No, she the whole... Just like you know, like a backhoe, just One went in there <laughs> and just beep, and scra- beep, like scraping beep. out pussy juice. <laughs> She's got a jackhammer in her pussy. Uh huh. My friend, uh, I won't say. I almost said his name. My friend from college. Raw dog, this one random girl who just like showed up. We were having like a part. They were having a party, and it was just like six dudes and like one random woman. Uh huh. And uh, she started. So, so he started hooking up with her, and then our friend. 
our other friend Chad just kind of hung out in the mix, and so she just started sucking both their dicks, like uh-huh. you know, at the same time. And uh-huh. like they, I, these guys did not know each other at the time. Yeah. They were just like, <laughs> just kind of a couple of blokes at the just urinal, a couple of blokes at the urinal, <laughs> and she starts sucking both their dicks. Chad gets weirded out, and she stays. And this, my friend, let's, we'll call him Rick. He starts to fuck her. Um, and then she, while he's fucking, this girl's pussy was so big, and I, th- I think he also has a little ass dick. Mm-hmm. She would, she started putting a couple fingers in while he was fucking her. <laughs> and then she puts her whole hand in her pussy while his dick is inside of it. <laughs> I think his dick was that little and her pussy was that big. That's hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> and, just, and he remembers her like, So she reached into her pussy and was jacking him <laughs> off with it. Basically, yeah, she was basically giving him a hand job in her pussy. That's so funny. But yeah, I think she was, yeah, she it was. I mean, I was like, what? Mm. He was like, yeah, dude. It started when he was fingering her, and she was like, another one, and it was like three fingers. And he's just like, okay, and he's just putting four <laughs> fingers in her pussy, and then his dick needed a couple fingers <laughs> to like help him out. Yeah. Yeah, and he just raw dogged this stranger. Yeah, that's he, always a good move. And he just did AIDS. He just researched how do you get AIDS for about a month mm-hmm. after that. And he did not. He's very. He's happily married now, though. So congratulations to him. Yeah, congratulations to him on marrying that woman. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he hit a ring inside her <laughs> pussy, and she didn't even notice. Well, that's how he knew it was meant <laughs> to be. He put his hand bolt. in a ring. Ca- a full, yeah. You yeah. put your hand in a girl's pussy. You you t- wearing gloves when right. it comes out. <laughs> <laughs> you just have a fucking bracelet and a ring and gloves. <laughs> Your nails are done. <laughs> Your nails are painted green. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> that fucking rules. She just folds in on herself like a Columbia yeah. rain jacket. <laughs> She's like, ooh, I'm it's raining out. And she, yeah. <laughs> she goes into her pussy. Can you just punt me home? Yeah. She's in the she just gives it a little uh-huh. ball shaped. <laughs> Oh uh, fuck! Mm-hmm. I have um, I did not know that a couple of the first girls that I fucked had big pussies until I came into the little pussy. I came into some little pussy later on in life, and I was like, "Oh, this is uh-huh. this rocks." Yeah, it's like my dick is big. Uh-huh. So, <clears throat> but now you know I like to. I'll, I'll enjoy you know fuck picking a corner of the pussy to fuck, picking a side mm-hmm. if it's really big, you know. A side? You have to get creative, you know? Yeah. I'm going to stick to the left side of this big pussy. Yeah. (laughs) I'm going to take the friction from the left wall. (laughs) 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 I'm just walking in the middle. Yeah. What's the point? But Mm -hmm. just angle, angle the way you fuck. I'm doing... I'm doing a demonstration. Yeah, that's a good demonstration. (laughs) I still don't understand the physics of your body. I can't imagine fucking at that size. Yeah, it rocks, dude. I have Mm -hmm. a lot of a lot of torque behind my strokes. Yeah, a lot of power, dude. It feels good to fuck at this size. I got to be honest with you. Do you? Mm Mm-hmm. You enjoy it? I love to. I remember I had a big fat roommate, and he brought home some big fat girl. Oh, that's tough. It was like that's always like that's like. It's like a sumo match at that point. Yeah. He's not even having sex. It's yeah. like, I don't even mind fuck. I like big girls, but sometimes the physics just scares me off. You know yeah. what I mean? Because I'm not even working with that much dick either. Yeah. So you can't, I can't be, we're losing inches. Right, that's what I'm saying. We're losing inches to fat. Yeah. You know what I mean? From my end, and now you're going to throw a fucking little, little, little pussy, fat, little pussy fat barrier. Yeah. I can't deal with that. Yeah. That's the same thing with girls with humongous asses. It's like, yeah. I got to take the right angle from that shit, dude. Because mm-hmm. I don't have the kind of dick that can, you know, persevere past big ass butt cheeks if they're not angled correctly. What do you mean angled correctly? <clears throat> like, you know, she's got to sort of, the pussy's got to be popping. Yeah. Past, and the cheeks sort of angled, tilted down. Pussy, pussy tilted up. Yeah. And I'm kind of fucking down. I always feel bad for girls. You go to fuck them from behind and they don't know what to do with their body. Yeah, yeah, And they, yeah. they look like they're looking for a contact lens. <laughs> yeah. It's like back all fucking arched. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? Sometimes like a scared the pussy's cat. way too high. Yeah. Like pussies at your titties and shit like that. Uh, <laughs> the pussy's always too high for me because I got short. I got yeah, like little, too. not chimp legs, but some yeah. other type of animal that has <laughs> yeah. tiny legs. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, no, why, me on my <clears throat> knees, I'm always like fucking up. Yes, that's why 
I I recently switched. I hate it, dude. It's it's like because I'm usually. I mean, I I don't I can't recall if I've fucked women taller than me, but I've definitely I fucked have. plenty of women the same height. I've had, I've fucked a couple girls, which is a tall than bitch, me. by the way. Yeah, that's not well, a sh- that's not know, a pretty five eight is extremely <laughs> tall for a woman. Regular. Height, that is I a it's women. rare for a woman to be that high. <laughs> that tall. <laughs> Every, Nick's only fo- that's what a WNBA center height is. <laughs> it's five eight. <laughs> 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 but yeah, there's nothing more embarrassing when I, you know, you have to like try dude, and fuck a girl fuck behind your tippy like, toes. You're like, I might need to get a phone book. Yeah, yeah dude. <laughs> straight up, I was problem solving this, and I was yeah. like, do I get a stool? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know how many times I've heard, I've gotten literal Charlie horses in my calves. Yeah. Fucking literally on my tippy toes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All the time. Uh-huh. And that's why I recently switched bed frames for, to the a lower to bed one frame? that's four inch, three inches lower, barely low. But that's genius. But it is all. All the fuck height that I need. Yeah. Because I used to, in Baltimore, I had the perfect set. It was box spring and this specific mattress. Uh-huh. And there, and me on standing up, perfect mm-hmm. pussy, pussy yeah. to dick height. Perfect. Mm-hmm. And I've, I've, re- I've recently. 16 inch legs. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um. So now I've swapped for fucking purposes. Oh, it's a little lower than I like. I got used mm-hmm. to a little higher, but that's all right, man. Yeah. If I can fuck. And then you're standing up, you got a real good, you got a real good fucking, you're fucking from a position of power. Yeah. <clears throat> standing up, putting your whole fucking shit behind it. Yeah. That rocks. Yeah, that's a good tip for the listeners. If you're a shorter man, <laughs> get us, get us, get either a box spring in a mattress or a 10 inch platform bed in a mattress. Yeah. And you're in fuck city. You're in stand up while they're bent over. And by the way, I'm not saying you just got to fuck. Eat some ass from behind. I mm-hmm. love a nice ass eating from hey, behind. Hey, um, I could not be more on board with that. I was Get kind of annoyed when everybody was doing the whole like <clears throat> eating ass thing cuz it's like, man, that's been my shit for mm-hmm. well over a decade yep. now. Yep. Never been gun shy about that. Yes. Never once. Certainly. I'll stick my whole fucking tongue in there. Yes, sir. Now I think twice about it. I'll t- I'll start at the clit. And do one of those big cartoon ice cream licks yeah, yeah, yeah. all the way up to your asshole. Uh-huh. <laughs> like a no, goofy. No, no, no gun shyness whatsoever. Mm-mm. Guns blazing, bitch. Yeah. Like fucking Rocky and Rambo. Yeah. <laughs> it's it sucks when you're not tall enough to eat the ass. <laughs> <laughs> you must be this tall to yeah. eat ass. <laughs> the carnival ride. Damn, that keeps happening to me too. I meet these women, <clears throat> mm-hmm. and their ass is just, just too high. Just a little bit too high. <laughs> Like a runt trying to get to the asshole. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> trying to lick the ass. <laughs> <laughs> Just taller versions of you eating the ass. <laughs> <laughs> it looks exactly like me. Yeah. There's like seven of them. Yeah. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. <laughs> and then some fucking old British man lets you eat his ass. <laughs> yeah. That old dude, pig. <laughs> that old dude. Uh, fuck, dude. Mm-hmm. How about rape to pig in the city? Okay, and it's a pig named Rape mm-hmm. instead of Babe. Does he rape? Sure, he does. Okay, yeah. So he's not as lovable a protagonist as Babe. Yeah. How about instead of Babe Ruth, it's Rape Booth. Mm-hmm. You know. Yes. This guy love. He's loves going in phone booths and. <laughs> hey, come on over here, uh, sweetheart. I got to yeah. make a phone call. Can you get the operator for me? Yeah. And There's then, like a building on fire, and like Clark Kent sees it, and he's like, <gasps> and he pulls a woman into a phone booth and rapes her while everyone's paying attention to the fire. <laughs> it's an alternate universe where Clark Kent is it's just an a opportunistic rapist. rapist. <laughs> it's a bird. It's a plane. It's I don't know. Just look over there. Yeah, over there. It's, just, uh, it's, uh, yeah. <laughs> it's a bird. It's a plane. It's a cloth rag. Yeah. <laughs> Mm, chloroform. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what I miss, boy, he just runs over, <laughs> zipping up his pants. Boy, that's a bad fire. <laughs> I wish I lived in the 40s. How come? I don't know. You wear hats everywhere. Everyone wears hats. Yeah, we were talking about how the 50s kind of suck. The only part I like about it is the soda jerk. Yeah, the soda that jerk. That's nice. Oh, well, first of all, my mustache, would, nobody would give me shit about mm-hmm. it. hmm you get to have the mustache, wear pinstripe suits. Maybe I'll be a newspaper man. Yep. You know? Got Private respect. eye. Private dick, if you will. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Welcome to my office, toots. What I'm... seems to be the problem? Well, oh, your husband. Superman raped me in a phone booth. <laughs> yeah, your husband's <laughs> cheating on you, huh? Well, 
I'll tell you what. Me and my associates specialize in dressing up like girls. <laughs> And then confronting people's husbands and trying to suck their Johnsons. So I'll get right on this this afternoon. You know, and then it's like a... Good m- news, uh, yeah. uh, Miss Smith. We were able to suck off your yeah. husband. <laughs> what? Yeah. Mrs. Smith, so good to see you. Take a look at that. Look familiar? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just spits the guy's comment. Oh, oh. Oh my goodness! <laughs> I knew this was true. <laughs> hey, McGonagall, that woman that came in earlier—that's not Mr. Smith's wife. What? You mean to tell me I just sucked some <laughs> guy's cock to not protect the sanctity of marriage? Yeah, that was his—that was his side piece. Yeah, looks like we're gonna have to keep t- uh, tailing him on this well, one. Well, it's the daughter of the guy that owns the. Water and Power Commission. Ah, uh, yeah, of course. Because he's so he wanted even to, he wanted up. to set up Mr. Smith because Mr. Smith had evidence that mm-hmm. they were funneling water out of the in, San Fernando Valley uh, to starve all the crops so that they could develop up there. Wow. So yeah. that you know that that means you what? gotta suck his dick next. Yeah. <laughs> they got they got they need it they need fucking dirt on they him. Gotta suck John Houston's dick. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> he got in trouble for giving yeah. water to Mexicans. Whoa, don't lick my asshole. Forget it, Jake. It's Chinatown. <laughs> Chinatown's such a good movie. Never seen it. Yeah. You should. But I would eat Chinese food for That's, dinner. You know what? That's a, a, an extremely similar <laughs> thought. <laughs> Those two are very related. Dude, you can't throw the word China at me and not expect me to want to fucking... A little China doll. Have a little fucking... What's your go-to Chinese food order? <coughs> Should I move to Japan and just have a Japanese wife? Yes. Yeah. That seems awesome. Asuko and me were discussing <laughs> earlier the possibility of getting into katanas. <laughs> Miku-san. Yes. Your, your bowl of rice for dinner is ready. <laughs> Here, please enjoy this bowl of rice and green tea and my pussy. <laughs> and you will never experience depression again. Because you are now just some guy who lives in Japan. <laughs> You are so completely far removed from your own reality that the subjective problems of your mind no longer exist in this fantasy in which you are a completely different person with no emotional complexity. Is that the answer? Yeah, dude, I think so. Yeah. I don't see why not. Damn, yeah, that's probably the answer is to have a little cottage made out of paper in the middle mm-hmm. of fucking Japan. Oh, yeah. Uh, you know, Asuko is, is cleaning my blades. Yes, of course. My, that's Polishing what I call up. sucking me off is cleaning my blade. <laughs> cleaning my blade. <laughs> my blade. Asuko, the blade's getting dull. Uh, Asuko, <laughs> it's time for my blade to be cleaned. <laughs> that's that guy's fantasy yeah. for sure. Oh, yeah. Will Keith? Yeah. Yeah, getting his, his hog serviced mm-hmm. by the shuffling race. By a subservient, yeah. foot-bound wife. Yeah. Did the Japanese do foot binding or just the Chinese? I think that was just the Chinese, mm, my man. Mainland style. Yeah. Good shit. I don't know. I would. I feel like I am one of those white guys that needs to just fuck off to Southeast Asia. You think so? You want to go native? You want to go to Vietnam and just stay there? Dude, I want to be like Teddy Roosevelt. You know, just go to the jungle. Mm -hmm. Get 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 my shit pygmy pussy. Get my shit fucked up by one of those kindiru fishes. (laughs) Are are those the ones that go into your dick? They go into your dick hole. Yeah. Oh fuck those things. Yeah. Those things suck, dude. Yeah. I'm anti a kindiru a kindiru fish. That shit can suck my fucking dick. I mean, that's what it does. <laughs> yeah, but I don't want it to, actually. Never mind. Yeah. <laughs> I want it to eat my ass. <clears throat> Sorry, I can do If you're one of those big pussy E-e-e-e-e-e. girls, mm-hmm. you could have like a dolphin that does that. <laughs> yeah, you get a river dolphin. Mm-hmm. The Amazon River dolphin. Yeah. That shit's fucked up that there's dolphins in there, dude. In the Amazon River? Mm-hmm. The best was when there was a dolphin in the Gowanus Canal that died. Just the, from for pollution. The pollution. Yeah. <laughs> so a dolphin swam into the Gowanus Canal, and people were like, oh, a dolphin! And then it just bloop, <laughs> yeah. rolled over, fucking dead. Because this city will destroy oh, yeah, the you're most not, beautiful parts of you. You're not even allowed It'll make to. you a millionaire, but look mm-hmm. at me now. Yeah. Hollow. Yeah. Ugh. You actually look way better than at any time that I've than we've been friends. Yeah, I look, I look pretty good. Everything in your life is actually better. Really. Everything in my life is great. Except the depression. Yeah. Except and the, even that, I can't like, handle... I can't handle success. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Suffering for success. Yeah. That's that DJ Khaled album. I'm so jealous of the posters. 
They just get to go on the Reddit and mm-hmm. talk shit. Never get pussy. Never fucking. Never get pussy. Never have any they, money. Uh, yeah, life sucks. Life sucks. They're ugly as shit. Yeah, not in a funny, endearing, well, cute way. Well, it's fun. No, it's because it's like I don't deserve any of this anymore. Any of those people do. Yeah, but I of just course. I'm the one that fucking snatched that golden ring. I guess mm-hmm. I got lucky. You know. Yeah, we got lucky for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, but they deserve it less. Oh yeah. Wait. Only because they called me Diddy Kong. Yeah. I mean, yeah. That's the only reason. <laughs> It's the only reason none of them deserve this. <laughs> the ones that didn't call him Diddy Kong, you guys are all right by us. Yeah. Except the racist ones. Yeah. Pretty cool it with that racist stuff, I man. was laughing last night about, instead of uh, the vice president, it's the rice president. Mm-hmm. Is he and Chinese? He is, yes. He, but he's a, <laughs> an evil Chinese. Oh, okay. <laughs> and he's always trying to kill the president, but pretending like he's not. Ah. You know? uh. So he's like, coy about oh, it. Oh, uh, it seems to me the president has been poisoned. I wonder who could have done something <laughs> like that. They're like, yes, Mr. Rice President. <laughs> <laughs> so the title, Rice President. So every time, every four years, it has to be a new evil Chinese guy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. Well, I wonder who could have poisoned the president. Yeah. <laughs> Certainly not me, because I am his most trusted associate, <laughs> the rice president. <laughs> sort of like a Jafar character. Jeez, does he keep, every president dies. <laughs> yeah. Now, I was trying to do that bit on uh, Karen and Abby's new podcast or mm-hmm. whatever, and they were just not happy. They weren't with you? Yeah, nothing. He's that bit just horse. went, yeah, Can no. you believe it, dude? Rice president? It's so funny how, like, without the the... Setting of come town. Mm-hmm. I'm just a fucking retarded person. <laughs> I know. <laughs> just, none of the things I say resonate with anybody. What, what the most we've gotten <laughs> lucky is finding a stupid dynamic that suits <laughs> our worst habit. Like, <laughs> yeah. I think everything's funny and fucking stupid as shit. Anything, uh-huh. and then you'll just say wild, outlandish <laughs> shit that most people will be horrified by. <laughs> but I'm like, hell yeah, brother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's keep singing about CeeLo raping. Yeah. <laughs> let's, uh, let's, I mean, that's literally Hit me with the is. rice president. Look, you guys want podcasting tips? Find mm-hmm. your dumbest friend. <laughs> that's right. And record all your conversations. <laughs> Oh man! Imagine the horrific podcast that will fucking yeah. Well, somebody made a podcast called Come Town Two, and I oh listened. really yeah. It just it's the Come Town logo and then the number two on top of it. Mm. And I gave it a listen just to see. You Interesting, know. yeah. Check out see the competition. Was, and uh, yeah, it's just incredibly boring. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like I I tried Bitch. listening to it. I earnestly tried to listen. You to hear it. that? You had the king's ear. And they do all the they do exactly what we do, but it's not us. So yeah, it's yeah. Not so good. it sucks. Yeah, we're the damn golden boys, right? With the sweet golden pricks. Always imitated, never duplicated. That's right. That's right. <laughs> too black for that ass. <laughs> we are too black. That is definitely I am too true. damn dark, dude. Mm-hmm. Dark Nick. Dark yeah. Dark ass Nicholas. Dark Wahlberg. Mm-hmm. Dark yeah, dark. I'm fucking black now. <laughs> you didn't think I would go black? Here I am. Here I am, you lace curtain faggot. <laughs> now I'm fucking black. <laughs> Hell yes. Dude, I want those shoes, those I Wahlberger shoes. He debuted shoes. a new type of sneaker for the he, launch. He of had the his own Jordan 4s. <laughs> and the, the colors suck, Dick, because they're the, they're the Wahlberger's like colors. Boston green. Yeah, just... just Ugly as shit, yeah. lo- you know, fucking bright ass green and just like white, but it's bad yeah. somehow. The burgers, but they're also sneakers. <laughs> Having said that, I want any. I want the Pizza Hut. Have you seen the Pizza Hut sneakers? No. There's Pizza Hut sneakers. I want those. Yeah. And I want the Wahlburgers Jordan fours. Yeah. And any other kind of snack. If there was some kind of milk dud, fucking. If there's some milk dud, fucking, uh, Nikki runners. The boost, the Yeezy boot, or the Adidas boost, I'll take no. those two. If you got a food slash shoe collaboration, yeah. I want in. Yeah. I want a pudding loafer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I right. want some kind Damn, of. Damn, my man wearing pudding for <laughs> shoes. <laughs> I want a fucking snack pack. Fucking yeah, dude. Boots, snack I pack would. Boots. You know what I would wear? A full body Swiss Miss tapioca suit. Hell yeah. You know, mm-hmm. little balls all over it. Oh yeah. People oh. Are like blowing their shades are like, damn, is my man made out of cum? Nope. These nope. are little tapioca Tapi- nuts. Yeah, tapioca pudding. Mm-hmm. I remember the first time I had tapioca pudding. I was stoked for it. I was excited. Yeah, it looks I, disgusting. I think I had heard 
about it on like <laughs> Family Matters or something. Yeah. Like it's it's been it's I like love a, this story. It's like it's <laughs> <laughs> I heard about tapioca pudding on Family Man. <laughs> I think I was familiar with the concept of tapioca pudding uh-huh. and the excitement of a new kind of pudding I didn't know about yeah. drove me wild. Go off, dude. So I was like, Mom, uh-huh. I need some fucking tapioca. Yeah. The next time you hit fucking Price Club at the time. Dude, Costco I remember now. having it in my neighbor's house. It's so funny how like if you were fat as a kid, you're like how many food memories you have. Oh, nothing but them, dude. <laughs> yeah. My most cherished memories are fucking food memories. It's funny because it's like I feel like if you if you were fat as a kid, you either turn into a drug addict or something, or you just continue being fat. Dude, I remember when we got a microwave and because you like, don't have drug, you don't have access yeah. to fucking drugs. Mm-hmm. If I was six and like heroin was an option, I probably would have done it. Interesting, yeah, that's true. It's the kind of drug you have an a- you have access to. Yeah. Dude, I, what I was just so about it's to say, like I remember I remember going around school asking kids if I could smell their fruit by the foot <laughs> wrapper. That was a literally a move I would do. Respect. Yeah. Respect, brother. Uh-huh. Um I remember when we first got a microwave, I was stoked because it was a way to melt butter faster. Damn. Because your boy would use to melt butter to dip my sandwiches in. <laughs> 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 what kind of sandwich? A butter I would sandwich? make I would make myself a fucking ham and cheese. Uh huh. But it was a multi. It was a double decker. Damn, bro. Uh, and I would baste the fucking each side of the fucking bread and fucking butter, <laughs> and I would get it so crispy. Fuck, Damn. dude, that shit was so good. We would have been good friends. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh hell yeah. yeah. Dude, the different kinds of fucking like Nutella peanut butter combinations I was fucking with. Uh huh. Oh, fuck, dude. That's honest. Again, that's the happiest I'll ever be. I used to eat a lot a of fat Slim Jims. Never got into Slim... Never, I never had access to Slim Jims. There was like a... It was like a, I remember my mom getting like a bulk thing of Slim Jims one time. Mm, so it was like a, yes. a six-month supply of Slim Jims. Yes, gym. gone in a week. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Gone in a week and a half. Yeah. <laughs> dude, oh my God. That shit rocked. Uh-huh. Diet Dr. Pepper and Slim Jims. Respect. I yeah. want that right now, actually. Diet soda. As a fat little kid, yeah. I remember that shit. Yeah, this that's year, when I started drinking this is Crystal the Light. Yeah, 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 me too. Yeah. Dude, Crystal Light, it was like this. Please work. Yeah, 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 yeah. Please let there be some kind of I'm, answer. I'm playing GameCube and just pounding Crystal Light, dude. <laughs> trying to get good, trying to look good for eighth grade. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I remember. Like, I would go to my friend's house and like he had soda, and like everyone would pick soda, and I would pick like ginger ale because I thought it was like healthy. Healthy, of course. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. But then I would have like six ginger mm-hmm. ales. And they'd be like, what is your problem? Yeah. <laughs> Dude, I'm watching my health. Oh, yeah, Ginger, yeah, right. it's good for you. Yeah. It's it's not even really soda because it's for grown ups. Yeah. It's from a plant, you fucking idiot. Uh huh. Drink your Cokes, children. Right. And now now look at us. We've grown men with plants to piss in <laughs> in our rooms. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, that's some shit. That's a little fucking hack again. That's a little uh-huh. life, Stabby Baby Hill life hack. Have potted plants so you have somewhere to piss <laughs> in an emergency. I gotta do that. I should get a son. I'm gonna do that. Fuck it. This year, yeah. I love it. I'm going child. Get a child, man. Fuck that would it. be so reckless. It would, it would be probably, incredible. It would probably, like, save my life. Yeah. Honestly, all the energy that you have that you put into just bullshit, like, uh-huh. you're always, like, doing shit just to keep busy. Yeah. If that was for a kid. Yeah. That'd be awesome. I could be dude. like Bobby. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Why the fuck not? I mean, a lot of reasons, but... Yeah. Fuck it. It'd be funny. Man, that kid would be so fucked up. Because <sighs> I mean, it's just going to have your mind. Yeah. They inherit that. Well, it could skip a generation. Maybe. I don't know. They might not get how fucked up you are. Yeah. I mean, I think... This is a nice Looney Tunes mug. Thanks, man. Where'd you get this? Six Flags? <clears throat> no, I got it as a little kid. Damn, we should El- go to Six Flags. I'll just broke it. Once your foot's better, come to Six Flags. I'll go me. to Six Flags, dude. I'll go to motherfucking Six Flags. I'll hit a fucking... How about instead of Six Flags, it's a... No. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> it's an amusement park called Six Letters. Okay. I'll, no. Yeah. No. Yes. No. Yes. <laughs> I respect that you didn't go obvious, but uh, also no. Yeah. Well, you didn't even know. There's a I lot think of things. I know. I, think I, I can know. think of two different words that have six letters in yep. it. Yep. Both of those are things that I would I don't mm-hmm. think you should say. And Taz comes up and he's like, blah, blah, blah. He does a little <laughs> tornado and there's like an N and then like exclamation point and pound sign. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what's funnier, saying the N word or not saying the N word. You know what I mean? Um, 
definitely let's just stick with not either way. Yeah. Depending on what is funny or not. <laughs> but yeah. I think not saying it is funny. It's going to be so funny to see how poorly this podcast ages. Oh, yeah. You know? In like five years? In not even. In six months. You think six? No, no, no. Yeah, because people will level out. There's going to be like a... No, nah, because you know what, a, man? A, like a Nanette that does Andrew Dice Clay and the balance will be stored, restored to the universe. And You think there's going to be a, a Nanette that's vulgar? Yeah, who knows? Because I look at like Mad TV and it's like, awesome. you know, particularly the, the, Snickers, best, the, the Snickers sketch. Yeah, that's a tough one. It, well, it's like... You know, obviously that aged poorly, but I still think it's funny. Yeah. So I don't know. It is funny, but it's like, damn, bro, on television. Yeah. <laughs> you mother- like, look, say this dumbass racist shit to your friends. Yeah. But to fucking put it on. But hey, salute. Yeah. Salute for being on the fucking cutting edge of sketch comedy. Yeah. Honestly, I bet you the top like hour of Mad TV is better than the top hour of SNL. Yeah. Like the best sketches Mad TV ever did probably make you laugh harder. Yeah, than I mean, it was it was sketches. so fucking funny, man. Yeah. Oh yeah. So we were talking about doing it, watching that Ken Burns Civil War documentary. Oh, yeah, yeah. I started watching it last night again. Mm-hmm. And man, that's rough. What happened? Oh uh, yeah. War? And, uh, I just couldn't handle it. <coughs> it seems fucked me. up, dude. It seems annoying as fuck. Well, it's like it's everyone smells like shit. This is gonna be a really original take, but slavery is bad. <laughs> <laughs> it was so fucked. It's so <laughs> fucked up to think about. I know. They just were, like, just raping and beating people mm-hmm. and making them, like, make shirts. Yep. <laughs> you know? Just pick a part right. of a flower. Right, yeah. They have just a type of wool or whatever yep. the fuck cotton is. Yeah. Insane to me. Wild. That's my hot take. Yeah, I think it was also fucked up. Yeah. No, but it was it was getting to me. Yeah, I can't watch. Like I said, I'm stupid. I can't really watch anything because it'll make me feel bad. Mm-hmm. I can't read or learn because yeah. that'll make me feel bad. Learning makes me feel good. I'm trying to uh, increase my neuroplasticity. Mm. That's why you got to really stretch your brain out. Get you know, your, yeah, you get, get some big ass, go really to stretch brain. your jaw. Mm-hmm. You know? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a way to a man's brain is through his through mouth. His mouth. <laughs> <laughs> your cock. <laughs> <laughs> yep, it feels like it's going down his throat, but that's going up his brain. It's going up in when that you, motherfucking. When brain. you skull fuck someone, mm-hmm. guess that's what? how I'm helping. That's how I plan on helping disabled children. Fucking is my next brain. Yeah, till they get bigger. Yeah, and not retarded. Uh huh. We're gonna fuck the retard out of your son, (laughs) ma'am. Yeah. Anyway, so I was saying this show's not gonna age. (laughs) This is gonna be comedy gold. But that's the thing. It's good. It's already bad. Like if you (laughs) want it to be, it's already there. Like we're not claiming this is fucking not offensive and bad. That's true. But guess what? Sometimes thinking about having sex with a child with a mental disability. This is ridiculous. And we gotta go on tour. We're touring. We are booked now. We have what, like nine cities. Yeah, we're doing some shit in the yeah. We got in we the South Australia. We this got the venue South. in L.A. reached out. It's five hundred capacity. Let's so fucking we're do, do it. like a West Coast tour. Should we do it right before Australia? Actually, um, do we have time. If it works out, maybe. Why not? The week before, we're gonna be on the West Coast. Yeah. Fuck it, dude. Yeah, I mean, there's just so much. <clears throat> we should just do half podcast, half stand up. Yeah. That way, we do a little standy. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? As long as I'm better at comedy than Adam, that's all really. I mean, yeah, of course. Thanks, what the man. fuck, dude. Thanks for let's saying not, Adam's not, trash. Let's not get crazy here. Uh huh. Adam Just, is funny, but I remember last time we did Come Town Classic that Come Eats in her Gordon bit. <laughs> God damn, that got me so good. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. It's not the podcast is over because we're never going to top that. Yeah, that is the platonic ideal of this podcast. That's true, dude. <laughs> it's like naming. First of all, it's listing things, which we love to do. Yeah. But making it gay yeah. <laughs> and making it about sucking dick and eating cum. Yeah. I mean, come on, dude. I don't know. Two race. Two nice race is great, about. man. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, we'll never do better than that. But hey, what are you going to do? Well, we, we can remember it and smile. Probably not. You know, it's like. It's funny because like if you're any kind of artist, you know, you all you all you can hope for is that at some point you're relevant, right? Mm-hmm. At some point you do something that people pay attention to. Yeah, and then you do it, and then almost a hundred percent of the time it goes away, and then yeah. you're irrelevant, mm-hmm. and nobody wants to hear from you. But you still have to live the rest of your life as yeah. the guy that did something. Right, right, right. And for the the thing that was done to become Eatson or Gordon. <laughs> 
you know, <laughs> we drank from that well. You know, yeah. we know what it it's like. Delicious. We know what it's like to taste that. Oh, fuck. And that's that's the pinnacle of your art is, <laughs> is Commissioner Gordon His with a, a big gulp <laughs> filled with cum. <laughs> He's just shivering, waiting for Batman to show up next to that searchlight. <laughs> but where the fuck is he? <laughs> yeah. Burned a bong movie. His mouth is stuck together with co- his mustache is covering his mouth. <laughs> yeah. That's mm-hmm. like, that's the best thing that I'll ever do. Yep. You know? Yeah, but I think that kind of makes... Which is fine. Yeah. Which is fine. But it's like, I, I kind of envy the people that'll... You know, they just do the shitty Brooklyn shows and they'll never have a career and yep. they just get to be delusional and imagine themselves the, as the like... The thing that's going to happen. Someday they'll be a great comedian. Of course, it never happens and they get hit by a bus and die, but <laughs> they at least get to have that delusion, whereas I know... It's over. It's over for me. <laughs> that's right. I already said... The best to days are behind you. <laughs> <laughs> it's just all downhill mm-hmm. from here, you know? HIV. HIV? <laughs> you know, that was a good one. <laughs> yeah. It's just, it's a life of people remembering when the show used to be good and then mm-hmm. calling me on my home phone to call me Diddy Kong. Because <laughs> you've like, unplugged. Right. But you still got doxxed somehow. Yeah. And at this point, I'm like, could just completely racist, <laughs> beating my 19 year old girlfriend. Saying you're going to start your own show. I got my own show that I'm four, on, four I'm people on serious listen to. still. <laughs> yeah. Adam's on serious. Oh, Adam's on serious. Adam yeah. has his own cable yeah. network. Yeah. I was saying the other day, Adam's probably taking life insurance policies out on the both of us. Yeah. And we yes. just don't know. He hasn't he's, said anything. Mm-hmm. He's like, I can drive right now, guys. Yeah. Just fucking drives the fucking RV off a cliff and jumps out mm-hmm. at the last second. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, my God. <laughs> my best friends. My best friends are dead. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I'll just take the $6 million. <laughs> <laughs> it's a shame you, that life insurance policies don't work if you kill yourself. Yeah, because you could kill yourself and like leave it to charity, and it'd be a good thing. Yeah, and well, it's also like the insurance company should do their due diligence to make sure that you're not going to kill yourself, and if you can trick them into thinking you won't, you should get the money. You should get the money. They fucked mm-hmm. up. You're bad at your job. That's right. You know, and it's like then you what? You got to stage it to make it look like an accident. So I was supposed to like rig up some sort of piano outside of my apartment. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And I was trying to raise a That's piano. That's right. <laughs> Get a just, piano. Just that common a occurrence piano. of pianos <laughs> falling from the sky. <laughs> Where's this piano? <laughs> well, you know, it was like me putting a piano, a grand piano in my apartment. Ah, ah yes, yes. And I'm yes. like, how's the piano looking, boys? Mm-hmm. Pull the switch. <laughs> then the pan- <laughs> Boom! <laughs> like, what happened to Nick? He was killed, I think, by Bruno. <laughs> Popeye's enemy. You just come up, but all your teeth are piano <laughs> keys now. I remember seeing a Popeye cartoon where they were throwing the piano out the window and then running down the stairs and catching it. Mm. And I, I was way too old to have this thought process. Probably like sixteen. I was like, <laughs> "Damn, can you do that?" <laughs> Could you get <laughs> you be strong enough to a throw a piano out a window? Is that possible? To do that? <laughs> yeah, dude. That's what I thought when I saw the Fantastic Four. Uh huh. Fantastic like, Four is about your your dick. My dick. <laughs> I, I, love, I love. I love that, dude. I yeah. said, first of all, I still have. I've like. That's part of this depression is I just feel so terrible for those SDP guys and the stupid fucking assholes on the subreddit. Yeah. Like, going and harassing them. I know. That's, like, that is such a bitch move. Yeah, just laugh at them while we made fun of them. And I commented on it a couple of people, and they're like, well, why did you fucking mention it then? Because it's funny. Just yeah. laugh at it from a fucking Because we're doing distance. the show. We're, yeah, right. We're doing it's a something show. something we can all laugh at. We didn't go up to them and record us saying they're gay to them. Yeah, faces. right. Make fun of them having little ass dicks. Yeah. We're not even laughing at them for that. We're laughing at them for, like, posting on there. Yeah, and you're going to yeah, go yeah. on there and say these people should kill themselves or whatever. A lot of them probably will. Yeah. Because you know what, man? You'll get to a point where, mm, like... Should we take life insurance policies out on every on one of the small SDP? Yeah. That would have been a good-ass move. Yeah. We take out life insurance policies Again, it doesn't work on, on suicide. Them. Damn. Yeah, that that would be a, a cool plot for a movie. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> or a Chuck Palahniuk book. Yes. SP by Chuck Palahniuk. Yeah. <laughs> Cyberbully enough small dicked guys yeah. to into death. 
Ooh, but that's the thing. But anyways, five eight fat thighs with a four by four hose is, <laughs> is still one of the funniest things I've ever read in my life. How are you on there and depressed? If you just say that's things poetry. That, that's if you yeah, if you think to that. express things in those terms, you should be at the cellar every night. Yep, that's so funny. Just go on stage like a little bit about me. I'm five eight fat thighs with a four by four hose. <laughs> I mean that's basic. That's almost me. <laughs> if my dick were like a different different dimensions, that yeah. is basically me. Yeah, it is. It's you in a, a separate universe. Yeah, mm-hmm. I do have fat thighs though. Yeah, but they're muscular. The thigh. Damn, I wish I, I got to get bigger thighs. I just got to fucking. I got out of the gym and I wasted away. Yeah, dude. Your legs are looking a little small, dude. They're lo- they're small as hell. Yeah, I got stupid chimp you legs. Pump those up. No, don't don't turn it on they're yourself. Right, dude. I look like a chimpanzee. I know it. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, I look like a goddamn monkey. There's nothing I can do about it. Yeah, you could stop eating bananas by breaking them. It's in not half. fair to go after me for my appearance, you know. Yeah, like I've done a lot to improve myself. Yes. And you, what are you doing? You're you're insulting the narrative. Mm-hmm. I'm a I'm an example of bettering yourself, mm. even though you got so very little to work with. Yes, yes. You know, little fucked up frame. Little I got a tiny. I'm a tiny I'm frame. a racist midget. Yeah, that's right. With a drug problem, <laughs> yeah, yeah. and I've risen to prominence. <laughs> that's right. And uh, 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 and I I use what little bit is left in my tiny shriveled up black heart. <laughs> that's right. To help the people around me. That's right. And you treat me as such. And you call him Diddy Kong. You call me Diddy Kong. <laughs> you say I'm worse at stand up than Tom Myers. <laughs> you fucking kick a man when he's down. <laughs> hey, man. I don't think you look that much like a monkey. Thanks, man. Monkeys don't even have mustaches. We're both hot. Yeah, we're <laughs> sexy guys. <laughs> yeah, we're hot. I love getting my fucking. I love being a sexy man. Yeah. Nah, dude. It's fine. Listen, dude, you could fuck, and that's all being hot is about. Yeah. No, see, I don't even want to fuck. I know. That's the thing, is I can fuck. So what do you want? So what is the problem? I don't know. See, that's the it's thing. It's insane. I don't know. That's the thing. I, once I started fucking, I was like, oh, who cares that I'm fat? Yeah. I don't give a fuck that I look dumb. Like, <laughs> if anything, that's funnier. Yeah. Like, it makes fucking even sweeter that I look like this. Yeah. Anyone can fuck if they look good. Yeah. That's not impressive, bro. Look at me. I don't know. I, l- no, th- I mean, the, the real answer is I'm, like, just an insane fucking narcissist, so everything hurts me. Yeah. You know, success, any kind of scrutiny or mm-hmm. whatever. Which well, is, like, I don't know. I mean, I don't know how to deal with that, because it's, like, if I wasn't just a self-absorbed piece of shit, I wouldn't have, like, been like, yeah, I should have a podcast. Right. My My opinions matter. Right, exactly. It honestly is, bro. Like, you just have to not be, like, there's just... The extreme unchecked levels of what's shitty about you. If you just even, I'm, I'm just saying from b- to being in therapy, like, I'm still a piece of shit. But at least like every once in a while, some shit like it's helped my relationship with my brothers. Like we're cooler because I'm fucking yeah more open with them. I don't know. Just go to a therapist, dude. Yeah. Worst case scenario, you fucking kill. It doesn't work, and you kill yourself. That's true. You know. Mm-hmm. Best case scenario, you know. We fucking die next year in that RV crash that Adam has fucking yeah, planned. Yeah, yeah, When he's tired of being called a bug. Yeah. <laughs> I guess it could be worse. I could be Adam. Yeah, dude. See? I could be in Adam's position. <laughs> God damn. They are so mean to him. <laughs> they yeah. are so... People are so fucking mean to Adam. I know. They don't get that it's like... That he's literally like one of our best friends. I, it's insane yeah. to me. <laughs> you could listen to the show and think that like... That we hate Adam. That this, he's not... <laughs> I hang out with the guy every single day. Yeah, you guys hang out more because you live in Brooklyn. You guys are together all the time. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, he hates him. Yeah. He hates that guy. <laughs> he if Yeah, what he really wants is to for Adam to leave and me to take his place. Right. <laughs> it, is it is useful, though, because then everyone thinks they can replace Adam. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's funny as, like, you know, I befriended Liam. Liam's a good kid, you know, I like him or whatever, Mm -hmm. but because he's become part of the show, now people are bullying him about his cystic acne and his fucked up face, and Mm -hmm. I don't think he can handle it. No. A lot of people think they can be in the hot seat. No, dude. You don't understand, Adam has a rock-solid constitution, more so than literally any of you. You would probably kill yourselves immediately if you had to live one day in in his shoes. pathetic shoes. (laughs) I mean, (laughs) he's like, Adam's Adam's funny. Yeah, he's funny. And because of the show, he's just been turned into a punching bag. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Watching his family die. Yeah, it's tough. Well, like... Just the 
biggest losers in the entire world. Message him about yeah, it. Yeah, call him a bug. <laughs> Say they want to fuck his sister. <laughs> Meanwhile, if they were ever in the same room, they could make eye contact. Yeah, right, of course. Yeah. Not. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm going to fuck your sister's tits, bro. <laughs> it's like they can't say hi. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. Yeah, but what are you going to do, man? Yeah, that's true. <sighs> Maybe. Hmm, what's the solution? Maybe we, we kill Adam. Maybe we should. You we know? should kill our friend and make him finally be happy. That's right. I don't want him to suffer anymore, man. Yeah, he doesn't suffer. He seems to be pretty nah, okay. he's doing fine. He's doing he's got good. A, he's got a good relationship. Uh, got a nice spot. Our well, lives are good. You know, he doesn't know everything about Dasha. Yeah, I mean. There's some stuff that you know, he doesn't know. But listen, we don't got to talk about it. Yeah. But. Hold on, Nate, can we stop for a second? Sure. Dude, come on. Don't tell everyone that we all have been fucking. He <laughs> <laughs> even before they met. Yeah, it's a good thing that the podcast, the podcast has a pause a, feature. The pause button is huge. I love dude. hitting that pause should button. Should we also kiss right now? Real we quick? should. <laughs> Damn, I love having my asshole sucked on. <laughs> I forgot to tell you, I dimmed the lights before we started the show. So mm. <laughs> my, my asshole, sometimes you think Damn, my mouth dude, is my, yeah, my asshole is my mouth. Yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> That tastes more like ass than It was my ass. Oh, it was your ass. Yeah. All right, hold on. My turn. Anyways, back to how we both have sex with Dasha. Dasha. But wait, real quick. Yeah. Should we should you kiss my ass now? Um no. Come on. (laughs) 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 All right, but only all right, listen, we gotta finish this podcast. We do. Never tell anyone that Dasha's been cheating on. With all his friends. <laughs> uh, okay, go okay. ahead. Hit right. on pause. All right, on pause. <clears throat> we're back, and we're back, guys. Sorry to take that quick uh, break, but we just we just had to do some some private stuff that not everyone needs to be, you mm-hmm. know, not everyone needs to be a fucking uh, you know party to. Mm-hmm. But uh, we're back, and we did not kiss each other's assholes. Yeah, that's for sure. Mm-hmm. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I don't know, man. How do you feel having the whip, dude? Doesn't it feel good to have a car? Dude, it feels great. I might buy a car. You should buy a car. You literally should. I mean, I want to buy a car and I want to buy a house in like Flushing or Rego Park or something. That would rock, dude. Come yeah. to Queens. Hell yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You go to dumplings, I'll get dumplings all the time. That's the only reason I'm doing it. That's why I want to buy a $600,000 house <laughs> yeah. so I can get dumplings. <laughs> <laughs> that would rock, brother. Yeah. I, ideally, one day I would like to buy a house in Queens, but I'm still far away from that. Yeah, I mean, I'm not even close. Yeah. I got to talk to... Hey, if anyone who listens to the show is like a mortgage guy. Yep. Actually, I think there was that, that big dude. The guy, there was like some guy that weight lifts that listens to Chapo and mm. our show who messaged me before about sending me free shoes. Nice. Can I have free shoes? I think he's a mortgage guy. Really? Yeah. Nice. But, yeah, I need to Fuck, I needed out. a mortgage, but I'm already working with some Greek guy. You know what's funny? I'm working with a Greek guy, and his dad ripped off my parents when they did their mortgage. Oh, really? But there's just, like, only one mortgage guy in Greek town. I was like, ah, fuck it. Yeah. I don't feel like doing any fucking... That's why I need to reach out to the autistic community. I don't have, that like, a... That is true. I don't have an ethnic angels. Yeah. A bunch of... I get an autistic real estate broker that... The best kind. me up with the train discount, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? The best negotiators, you never know where they're coming from. Right. Uh, actually, we're going to pay half that. <laughs> like, but, excuse me? <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> That's it. That's all you have to do. Nah, dude, don't Damn. get fucking yoked. Fuck your Bowflex up. Stop getting yoked, bro. You're going to kill yourself with the Bowflex? Maybe. Yeah. Benoit style. There you go. Oh, I did it. One rep. Oh, uh, fuck. Hold on. <sighs> Nice. What's this? Jarvis? What does that mean? Yeah, check it out, dude. I got a standing desk. Oh my god. Yeah, you pretty did tight. get a standing desk. And then I fucked this my is, foot up. This is so unnecessary. Nah, bro, it's cool. Stop, stop. You have a motorized. What do you yeah. mean, stop? How far up does it go? Don't keep going up. I don't know. Why? Nah, stop. Go, then make it go down. Damn, a low rider desk. That's right, bro. Yeah, I got a little motorized fucking desk. No big deal. Yeah. It it doesn't it feel cool to do that. Yeah. Now yeah, it's too it does low. Feel no, cool. stop, 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 what? stop, motherfucker. Oh, fucking shit. laundry basket, bro. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> my gaming rig is gonna ruin my fucking laundry basket. Yeah, sounds more like the blaming rig. Blaming That's me so for true. I'm sorry for blaming you. What else does blaming sorry, rig rhyme with? No. Okay. <laughs> 
<laughs> no, Nick, don't. Uh huh. Um, <clears throat> so, did you want to keep talking about Mark Wahlberg a little more? No, I don't know. I kind of just want to go home and go to sleep now. Do it, dude. I'm in Fuck that kind of mood, you know. You take edibles with me. No, you yeah. shouldn't do drugs, right? Probably not. Yeah. Somebody recommended some five HTP. What's that? I don't know. I mean, I really I haven't been doing drugs. Yeah. Like I did. I was in like I was so depressed uh, over the weekend that I like caved and did some cocaine. That's that made the worst it like way for worse. depression. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that that blow in particular was like oh yeah, skank fest blow. Yeah. And, <laughs> uh, and well, it wasn't from there, but like. Uh, yeah, I don't know. The Just other, the other people I would, was doing it with were like, yeah, I came down pretty hard off that, and I had a pretty terrible hangover. Ooh, damn. Yeah. That's why I don't trust that shit, dude. What? Cocaine? Cocaine. Yeah. You never know what's in that motherfucker. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what, what makes it, some of it, like, give you a shitty hangover, and sometimes it's it doesn't. Probably a bunch of chemicals in that bitch. Well, it's a plant, dude. You know mm, how are you gonna nature. say? How are you gonna say part of the earth? You're right. Is no, you're right. Illegal. Part of the earth is illegal. That's fucked up. Crack rock is from a plant. It's dude. from the earth, dude. Yeah, that's <laughs> the crack rockiest. Yeah, aphrodisia. Afro Afro nation. <laughs> the Afro nation of crack rock. Dude, how are you gonna say illegal? Okay, pedophilia that comes from the earth. Yeah, dude. Children are a plant. <laughs> Children are come from mother nature. How are you gonna make a plant? How are you gonna say I can't? A fuck boy's it? pussy is a plant, dude. <laughs> How are you going to say that's illegal? Check out fuck? this picture and check out the it's, two, it's mm-hmm. the cells of a fucking yeah. one's like a fucking avocado, a zygote, one's a boy's pussy, and it's like, what's the difference? Yeah, I mean, uh, here's the thing, dude. If a fetus is life, right? Mm-hmm. So if you if you were to find a pregnant woman mm-hmm. and reach into her pussy, rip out her fetus, and fuck it in front of her, that wouldn't be a crime. No, sir. Not not even Come close. From the earth. Well, no, but a child, you do that with a baby. As soon as she has the baby, <laughs> it's, it's, I just fell out of my Nick chair. Nick somehow fell out of a rolling chair. <laughs> well, I was trying to adjust myself. Nice, bro. Oh, damn. Anyways, if you did it with a baby, that would be... I, w- I want to become a criminal defense attorney and then just, like, launch defense of my client and then purposefully slip on a banana peel. <laughs> <laughs> and just take the... Whoop. Just eat the biggest load of shit. Like, right <laughs> <laughs> ladies and gentlemen of the jury. <laughs> yeah, my pants come down. Ah! Everybody sees everybody <laughs> sees my fucked up hose. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. You can't close your cock. You can't hide your cock for anything. You just keep slipping. <laughs> 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 you fucking mash your cock into the yeah. foreman's mouth. Yeah, there's just oh, oh, it's a bunch of pencils and scotch tape stuck to it. <laughs> <laughs> Your dick gets stuck in one of the jurors' noses. Yeah, right. One of the, their nostrils. The judge's little hammer is just shoved up my dick hole. <laughs> <laughs> Order. 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 Just, Order. My, my dick's banging against the walls and just knocking it. <laughs> and everybody has to listen to it because that's who, that's who actually controls the court is the hammer. Whoever has the, the hammer. Judge. Yep. <laughs> it's like Thor's hammer, dude. That's right, dude. Whoever's holding it. That you're, is you're right. You're the judge. Well, that's probably the episode. Yeah, that does. Ah. I think that riff will do us. Time to time to damn. I, how I'm just gonna keep getting older and hating myself more, huh? That's right. Yeah. Oh well. Nah, nah. You'll do better, dude. All right. I can't. Um, if there's any ladies out there, look. I'm trying to. Let's just. I'm skipping right to sun. So if you want, if you want to catch a nut real quick, I am. <laughs> I'll be honest with you. I am pretty good at fucking, but only because I don't feel anything and I'm mm-hmm. just sort of a robot that knows how to. That's right. You it's know. a game. He looks at it as an uh, achievement. From Xbox Mostly it's like I just don't want you Criticizing me So I'll, I yes. learned how to be good At fucking So it's not a chore To yeah. deal with the emotional mm-hmm. Burden of being bad at fucking Oh yeah But I'd enjoy nothing So if you wanna If you wanna catch A hot fucking load If you wanna catch a, Just an emotionless mowing. load <laughs> Yes <laughs> <laughs> And you know You can catch one of those For me also That's on the table as well Yeah We'll both um, Where's that big pussy girl With the yeah, two yeah, yeah, We'll yeah, both yeah. fuck her At the same time <laughs> Yeah the jerk off my friend <laughs> Rick Um so listen, guys. I if- just sit on your lap, <laughs> yeah. and then and then she sits on my lap, and then we go the two at the same time. Can Diddy Kong do that? Yeah, I don't think so. Probably because I mean, yeah, he's got a little ass monkey dick. Monkeys mm-hmm. got little dicks. They do. Mm-hmm. That's why I don't like the Diddy Kong criticism. Uh- I mean, yeah, I know I got a, a, a tiny chimp body, but don't mm-hmm. tell me I have a chimp dick. Don't tell, don't tell my man. He's don't tell me my fat thighs, back. five eight four by four hose. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, guys. Well, listen, go see Nick at Caroline's. Yeah, come out, guys. 
And that's August. Don't be fucking haters either. I'm going to do my job and I'm going to do it well. August 9th, 10th, and 11th. Is that right? Yeah. August 9th, 10th, 11th. Go see Nicholas at motherfucking Caroline's. Don't be a dickhead. Uh, when we're headlining these places, please come out and make it so that we can keep doing it. Uh, speaking of that, I'll be in fucking Charlottesville on the 17th. I will be at Baltimore Suspended Brewing Company on the 18th. And I think I'm going to do a little uh, comedy show and art opening with my little brother. So if you like my brother's paintings, he'll be, we'll be doing, his, his art will be out there too. It'll be a nice little party. It's my friend's new brewery, so we're going to hang out and get fucked up and shit. And then on the 19th, I'll be in Philly at the Good Good Comedy Theater. Um, we will also be at the Auto Bar on the 12th of August, the week before that, doing a live podcast. We'll be at Cleveland Saturday, or I'm sorry, Sunday the 2nd at 420. <laughs> Legalize it. Uh, at part of the Accidental uh, Comedy Festival, doing a live pod there. And then the next day, we're potting in Boston as part of the Boston Comedy Festival at 8 o'clock at Laugh Boston. Um, after that, more dates for me. I'm going to be on the road a bunch in September, so I'll be in Connecticut, the Fairfield Comedy Club, September 7th. I'll be in New Orleans and Lafayette. Lafayette on the 14th, New Orleans on the 15th. Uh, and then I will be in Chicago on the 21st and the 22nd, and Detroit on the 23rd. Uh, and then, of course, we're in Australia in October. So, But that's it for now, gang. And I think, actually, we have a Funny Moms. Fuck, I don't know if I'm going to be there. We have Funny Moms this Monday. Um, but anyway, um, that's the show. That's a little Kamtan Classica for you. Yeah. Um, so, you know. I'm feeling okay. We're feeling good. Nick's not going to kill himself. Yeah, not this week, at least. Yep. Don't call him Diddy Kong. Yeah, don't do that to me, guys. And um, I, I love you guys, and I'm so supportive of you exactly. and all your endeavors. And one final you know? note. 